good morning students welcome back to the class today i am going to explain the topic prevention and the care from allergies simply that prevention and the care to be taken by a person who is prone to allergic reactions okay so simply how to prevent the allergic reaction so we are we are we have some different type of allergic conditions we are not able to eat some food we are not able to take any kind of some different type of medicines and even the pollen or dust and different type of allergens cause allergic reaction in our life so according to this way or according to this conditions how to avoid and how to escape from this type of climatic of oh, this type of allergic reactions okay so i will give you few points about how to prevent or take care about the allergic reaction the first one avoid triggers such as food and the medicines that cause an allergic reactions that cause allergic reactions okay so many many of you having some uh, food allergy and the medicine allergy so just before we are taking that particular food or medicine we must check their ingredients okay if that the food is also prepared in the mixing of different type of ingredients or constituents in the case of medicine also and different type of constituents combine together into form a medicine and the food also and any of one constituent or any of uh, any one of the substance that trigger you allergic reaction so first of all we want to find which substance cause the allergic reaction okay if you are uh, identified this type of uh, substance cause allergic reaction so we want to take the first step to avoid that avoid that type of food or that type of ingredient in your food okay first step that way. so i hope all of you understood the first point avoid triggers such as food and medicines that um, cause an allergic reaction in a past in a past means very simple that means uh, we can identify if any kind of allergic reaction or allergy so after eat after taking or after using or after applying then only we are uh, identify that substance is cause allergic reaction so in the next time we want to check the ingredients and which one is not good for our body and completely avoid then only we are free from that type of allergic reaction okay first one avoid such a food which one causing allergic reaction next one carpet are the notorious heaven for the dust mites very clearly given here only carpet are the notorious heavens for the dust mites okay why we are uh, telling like this type of uh, word uh, carpet and pillow bed cover bed sheet which one we are using daily even the cloth also why we are telling that is a notorious heaven for the dust mite so the dust mite means the microscopic organism living in the carpet and living in the uh, pillow cover pillow and the bed and bed sheet area so first one we want to continue continuously wash this type of uh, clothes every day or two weeks in a day otherwise what happens this is the one of the most important place and famous place for this type of organism so the dust mite is also uh, easy to Carpet is it grow? Dust mites is it to grow if that your uh, dirty places? Dirty places means it's especially in the bedroom, pillow cover and pillow and bedroom and bed uh, bed, uh, bed sheet and bed like this type of places that uh, that dust mite is that dust mite is easy to grow. Why? So that uh, human dirt skin. is the this uh, dirt skin uh, uh, as a food for the dust mite so the human beings uh, we are changing the turtles and we are also um, itching and whatever we are doing so the lots of lots of the um, dirt skins falling over the world 
So this is a food for the customers. That's why if you are not able to uh, able to wash or change the bedsheet or pillow or carpet continuously, this is a bad food increase in the dust mites. So this dust mite is also one of the agent to trigger the allergic reaction in the human. So first one free from the dust mite. So we want to take the control measure or clean the bedsheet and this type of uh, uh, dress or things every day. Okay. And next one use anti-allergen treatment. Anti-allergen treatment will reduce the symptoms from the this huge allergic source. Huge allergic source. So we want to use that anti-allergen. So anti-allergen treatment. Okay. So this type of treatment we are given. If we are uh, using some of that um, uh, air fresheners like this type of things, uh, what happens? The growth of dust mites become decrease as a result. We are free from the allergic reaction. Otherwise, what happens? We are not able to change our dress, our pillow, and this type of carpets continuously. What happens? This is where to increase the number of dust mites as a result. We are having. We want to face different type of allergic reactions. This allergic reaction is turned to mild severe, mild then after, after medium, moderate then after severe condition. So before we want to prevent this type of allergic reaction and we want to take the control measures. Okay. And next one, keep the humidity level is down 30 to 40 percentage. Humidity level, humidity level 30 to 40 percentage. With the, with the dehumidifiers, with the dehumidifiers or air conditioners, air conditioners to reduce the growth of mold and dust mite population. So, all of your bedrooms have different type of uh, the temperature levels. Okay. So, decrease in the temperature that uh, very particular. This is a favor condition for growing the dust mites and other allergic. Microorganisms. So we want to use and we want to maintain the humidity level in the room 30 to 40 percentage. So it is particular percentage that the dust mite is not able to uh, live or not able to survive. That's why maintain the temperature. So for maintaining this temperature, we want to use the dehumidifier, dehumidifiers or air fresheners. Air fresheners. So this air fresheners is to reduce the growth of Mold and dust mite population. Mold and dust mite population. Okay. So we are using this type of dehumidifiers or um, air fresheners that will reduce the growth of dust mite population. If that reducing that uh, dust mite won't happen, we are free from the allergy. This is the next one. All of you keep in mind and keep humidity level below means down 30 to 40 percentage. And next one, air purifiers are especially helpful for pet waste and if you have a pet at home, running an air purifiers is where to help the control allergic symptoms. Okay. And the next one, if uh, many of the homes have the pet, dog, cat, some other pet is also there. So the pet uh, tenders and some other waste is also in the home, in the bird or somewhere nearby our, our places. So we want to control this, uh, this is waste is also helpful to generate or increase in the population of dust mite as a result what happens cause allergic reaction. So we want to reduce this type of symptoms or this type of allergic reaction. We want to use the air fresheners. So these air fresheners control the population of dust mites and other uh, allergic causes. Okay, so use air fresheners. And next one. If you are child, okay, leave. Okay. And next one, make sure to create an asthma action plan. Asthma action plan with the medication. With the medication. So many of you having that uh, asthma problems okay some of the allergic problems and asthma problems so we want to take a action plan so action plan means accordingly we want to take the medi uh, medications medi 
means medicines. So next one, to all of you, you want to inform these details into the doctor, your personal doctor and his school and the uh, care givers, care takers. Okay, inform these details to this particular authority also. Why we are giving this information? If you have any this problem, asthma, uh, asthma problem, so you want to give you, I have this type of problems. So that your authority will be give you the proper attention from this type of situation. From this type of situation means uh, you, will, uh, you will be a get a and uh, clear places for your study or your other activities. Otherwise, what happens if you are having this problem, you are not informed this information into somewhere into the authority, what happens? This uh, will be increased, that means will be caused more and then affected more also as a result of having some serious problems. So, all of you make sure to create an action, asthma action plan with the medication and inform these details into the uh, school and the caretakers and others. Okay. And next one is very important. If you have an allergic problem and allergic persons, you should wear that face mask. Face mask for the protection against the airborne allergens. Protection against airborne allergens and pollutants. Okay. So all of you know you I, I have a, some of that allergic problems. So you must take that preventive measures. For example, use the mask and uh, avoid the overcrowded area. Okay. See if the overcrowded and uh, outside is also dirty and polluted and it is an uh, easy way to uh, get an infection from through the air through the air if any disease also for the uh, spread from the air we can call that is an airborne infection so if this uh, we are moving to our uh, outside so you must wear the face mask as a protection against the allergen and the pollutants okay and next one use a shower filter use a shower filter to remove chlorine to remove chlorine okay why we want to remove the chlorine from the water okay i will give you few uh, important point about this one the first one this chlorine will be strip away the natural oil the body is also secreting some natural oil for the protection of this type of chlorine particles and the dust or some other other uh, dust or mold or some other particles so this uh, natural oil help to us for the protection okay after we are taking the shower or bath that will be easily removed out okay. so during if you are not using that a uh, shower filter so the chlorine salts come to uh, falling over the body as a result of the body skin will be absorbed the uh, uh, absorb the chlorine as a result the production of the natural oil from the body going to decrease so if that decrease in the natural production a uh, natural production of oil what happened that uh, easy way to attack the um, foreign particles or foreign substance like the dust or some other foreign things okay so all of you fit this one and use the shower, shower filter okay and next one if we are going to play outside and we are also trying uh, and doing some other activity in outside to, so that uh, um, that time what happens this is an easy way to contact that uh, dust or pollen grains okay so what happens if you are applying outside this will become to contact with us then after we are going to um, home so before we are reaching home or uh, first you enter the home you, sh you do first one take a bath so if you are taking the bath what happens this type of uh, uh, triggers that causing agents will be removed out from the body as a result we are free from the allergic reaction okay all of you take shower if you are going outside and come back to the outside you should take a shower okay this is this is the easiest way and the main points to trigger or avoid the allergic reactions okay all of you practice this one and uh, now I am going to conclude this chapter and a few points will be add, add you and will give you in next of my class okay
தேங்க்யூ